Hey guys, this is Youth Dragon. Welcome back to another episode of War Thunder. Today I have a little special episode. It's gonna be a lot shorter. You can see that the game's not very long. It's like seven minutes long or something. So, this was an event that was happening like several days ago. It was like a four and a half day event or something. So 4v4 tournaments. And for tanks and planes, I believe it was like arcade battles and ballistic battles for that. Um, and to play, you had to buy a ticket that was for like 50,000 silver lions, which is quite a bit because you had to buy one every time you lose three um, games. And if you're not amazing like me, you lose a ton, so you have to pay a ton. Uh, I think I spent like three, four tickets, so quite a bit of money it'll take me I still haven't gone back to a million I'm like really low on silver lines quote unquote low I'm still over a million but that will whittle away really quickly if you don't replenish it so I might uh, also with the plane thing I'm gonna go try a video with the plane I've, I've gotten to the point where I was able to get like 30 FPS on flying so I'll try it out, see how it goes, but anyways, the reason why I was playing this tournament is because every five wins, it doesn't have to be consecutive because that would be crazy, but every five wins you have get this chest and you have a chance to win a ton of things. Um, the grand prize probably is like the premium tank, the Panzer Bethel's Wagon 4 or something. Um, costs like a thousand seven hundred something golden eagles, which is quite a bit. It's, um, but it's a premium vehicle, and for people like me who don't buy golden eagles or get have like a press account to get have a ton of them already, you're not gonna buy that or get that. And the premium tanks are just great for getting the bonuses because like most of them get like double the money bonus and like a huge research point boost, so. It's really nice to have one. You also have a chance to get 100 golden eagles. I got in one of the two chests I got. I got that, and then 15% booster for research points and 15% booster for silver lines. I got the silver lines booster, which sucks because those things are terrible. 15% boosts when you get like a thousand every game is like 150 extra or something. So not really a lot. I prefer like 30% at least, but there's also the 3 days of premium count which is amazing too, it's also way better than the 100 golden eagles, um, and then 50,000 silver lions which would even out your ticket, which would be pretty nice, but you have to get 5 wins to get it, so have the chance, but anyways I'm gonna go start the game now. It says 4v4, you get two respawns, and there's select tanks you can load out. A lot of people like taking out the Soviet Russians are different those tanks because what we can take out. You can take out the SU-152, the SU-122, and I believe the SU-85 for tank destroyers. Uh, for regular medium tanks, you can take out the T-34. D5T, and I believe that's it for that. And then for every tank, you have like the KV1, KV2. So it's pretty decent. Oh, yeah, you can also take out the T34, D5T, so that's an tank or anything. Of course, it's light. I don't actually know. But there's only one cap zone, and you just either go to store all the tanks or get uh, the Teams tickets, so it's very strategic. It's only up to two teams, so it's going to be two, three. You're looking at some problems. And there it looks like they're pushing A right now. Two, three, forty-five right there. Just sitting around. So I see I can run around here. Let's pick off the back. And from the actual tank outline. I thought I was facing like directly 90 degrees on its side. So I thought I was angry, but now I look at it, I mean, it's like actually really angry. I don't know why I pulled back. I thought it was, wasn't looking 
get the hit cam. So, realize, oh, got it before. Another capping name. Oh, that's 234. Get a good shot to get his driver and gunner. Um, no, I can't really. This place shot bounces. Covers. Gonna finish him off there. I'm trying to get his side. He bounces. He's lucky. Um, can't risk any unnecessary damage. He's bounced. There's a general rule of covers that you Team takes out the other team, all of the other teams in response like they've all died once and then your team has at least one or two minutes. That usually guarantees you a win if you lose your team. Your KV2 is not very much. Take the shot too late. I'm trying to attach this. And that KV2 is trying to do something. See that shot didn't do anything so I don't care what she was doing to me. I can bounce him off this thing with the turret arm. Yeah, a little bit of sense. You should do that. It doesn't do anything. And then I had to let the team do 35 damage. So it's like, okay, it's time. Let's go. That's the entire side of me. What the heck? I'm trying to win or go away. It's a pretty bad situation. They've lost all the response. We haven't even lost one yet. Okay, I correct that. <laughs> uh, T3045, I'm trying to get the side off. Statues in the way though. I don't know But I still don't know. This is a snow we have. Hey, I'm just waiting here playing. I see that there's a over there. Uh, but I just opt to go pull off bomber. It's so annoying because they have bomber and stuff in these games and they make all the difference. Like sometimes you'll get out in like a P47 T25 Thunderbolt with 10 rockets. And it's just like so overpowered we can just destroy all their tanks you know? and then just go on a bomber I think you'll destroy only like one tank or something so it's like really easy to just get I don't like playing on bombers because people are usually a lot like this T3 and the KV-1 I decided to try and get a bomb ahead of the KV-1 didn't bomb far I don't understand player view. It's just like really awkward. Like operator view. I noticed that this KV one's coming over from my bomb unit, and I just have to get ready. I can't get ready. It's, it sucks. Nice shot. Nice shot. I shot too. And I shot too high because of my stupid gun So now I'm rolling out my shipment 22 since it's still, I don't want to take out a KV2. It's my only other camera. I got T3 for 57, which is nice. Honestly, that shipment 52 is way better, but I don't want to so just, Looks like everybody's using that shipment 52. Ha ha ha. It's basically like a little profile key. Also has a fast reload time. Still has that amazing HE shell on it. Pretty decent. AP and ACBC, AP and Gs and stuff. And so. Ah, oh, KV1 is the only guy left. And takes him out. So, game over. Like I said in the previous videos, you just get I could drag it out with like the shit out of my, what I have and play the tanks, but I don't think I should do that. <laughs> See, there's that piece of the thunderbolt, but it's 
10 rockets in these games. Anyways, that's the game. Uh, three kills in, in these games are actually a lot. Six. I've seen people get like six. Just like single handedly take out teams. <laughs> it's amazing. Anyways, that's this quick episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Eath Dragon. Hope to see you next time. Bye! And just a reminder next video is going to be playing gameplay if I can record it live and get a decent game because I don't want a game where I just get like shot down every two seconds. So, I'll try my best. And as always, this is Eath Dragon. See you next time. See ya. Bye.